They say silence is golden. And my God, are they right. If you've ever had the wonderful experience of looking after small, screaming kids for more than an hour, you can fully appreciate that phrase. But I'd ask you to think of the last time you heard the phrases grow a pair or man up. You see, in Britain, as a nation, we are under attack from the threat of hypermasculinity. And yes, while annoying because clearly I'm extremely ripped and very aggressive, it would seem relatively harmless, if not for the fact that its knock-on effects can be so damaging to young men's lives. Again, I'd ask you to think of a little boy and a little girl that you know personally. Well, listen when I tell you that little boy is three times more likely to end his own life and never tell anyone why. One in 10 people suffer depression. Men are 78% of the suicide victims in this country. And the biggest killer for men under 35 is suicide. But why? Why is this the case? Why do more and more young men each and every year choose to end their own lives? Well, one of the biggest reasons is the way that we treat men in society. Men are viewed as emotionless machines. Men aren't allowed to feel upset, and they definitely aren't allowed to show it. Men are scared. Men are terrified. Terrified of being told by their peers, their friends, even their families that they're soft, to pull themselves together, to toughen up. I have a close friend who over the last few years has suffered unimaginable pain because he's been told by people in his life as a boy, it's not okay to not be okay. So, they say silence is golden, but as someone who knows people with depression, I can tell you silence is more often a death sentence. So what can we do? What can we do, me and you, Everyday people, what can we do to make a difference? Well, we can tell someone. And not just those who are suffering, but anyone who will listen. If we go home tonight and tell one person, just one, what we heard tonight, we will have raised more awareness. And only when everyone is aware can we stand united and fight male stereotypes on a united front.